Uh, I was actually here uh, once before yeah. talking to a group of people about why we needed the bill. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, so I was here primarily about two years ago, three years ago, talking about why we needed the bill. We talked to a lot of people. In over the years, we found some people that were roadblocks, and that's the story to be told maybe at another time. But along the way, we found some real champions, some real champions. One of those champions is Brad Hill, who 10 years ago uh, understood something really simple. Government's number one responsibility is publishing. I mean, teachers in the fire department, and everything's going on today with the teams, the storm teams. We need a lot of people to help us. But the first thing is public safety. Without public safety, nothing else really matters. We have people that have had 20, 30, 40 convictions in the Washington streets. And the answer is, well, we've got to rehab them. How many times does someone need to be rehabbed? How many people, how many innocent people have to finally get hurt? When we finally stand up and say enough is enough, we're going to protect our innocent people. We're going to protect women, children, and ourselves. Um, now, along the way, we found some people at the state house who were, um, had this idea that we want to rehab people. And um, the, the finale had killed the McGuire, the cop had 74 convictions, three life sentences. He wasn't going to rehab anything. Mm -hmm. The guy who murdered my daughter had 27 convictions. He wasn't going to rehab. Enough is enough. What I want to say is that there, the Senator um, Eldridge has proven in some ways, in many ways, not to be a supporter of the official Senate bill. Um, voted, against the, uh, voted against the bill several times. At the end, kind of voted for the bill, but then the governor wanted to have what's called a, um, a safety bill on the bill. Um, a safety bill that was under the governor's proposal was the idea that if there might be some people who really need parole, and we should allow them to have parole. So the governor wants to take this official sentence bill and say, well, you know, the judge has a right to give parole or reduce the sentence or allow parole if the case if, if, if the case is warranted. The problem with that is you're going to go judge shopping, number one. Number two, it takes away from the idea of having an official offender bill that says if you commit the crime, you're going to do the time. No excuses. No idea that maybe there's a case where you shouldn't have to do the crime. Um, um, and what happened was is that there was a vote like, for the safety bill. Thank God it didn't get approved. But um, there were people who voted for that safety bill. And it shows that we need public safety. What I'm telling you here is that we need people who are going to support and care about us. Like this, uh, we, need to, we need people like that who are going to stand up from day one and say public safety is important. Public safety is what we're going to talk about. Public safety is, I care about these, I care more about my, about victims than I care about people that have official offenders. If, you know, if you kind of learn your lesson the first time, the second time, how many times, how many times do you need to take a bite of the apple? How many innocent people have to get hurt? And, I'm, and um, I drove in traffic, I'm late, but I'm here to tell you that I endorse it. I endorse it because she believes in caring about people. So I would ask you, with your support, um, I, I live in Quincy, so, but I, I would ask your support for her. <laughs>
appreciate you taking the time out of your very busy schedule to come up from Quincy uh, to support Susanna. It's so important, ladies and gentlemen, that we do send people to Beacon Hill who do care about the citizens that they're going to serve. Susanna will be one of those individuals. And uh, in, in addition to the support the left has given you today, uh, we felt very strongly as a Republican caucus that we wanted to come up to your district as well, and we wanted to give our full support behind you. So with that, uh, we do have some colleagues of mine who have made the trip. Uh, over in the right over here is a Todd Smola from Palmer. Uh, Representative Steve Levy from Marlboro. Representative Rich Bassine from Gardner. Westfield, and as you can tell, he loves Westfield. <laughs> <laughs> I, want you to, I want you to know that uh, he wears this pin 24-7. Whenever he's at Beacon Hill, he wants everybody to know about Westfield State. He certainly does. Uh, you always have to remind Boston that we exist out here in the West <laughs> Minority Leader of the House Caucus, who's done such a wonderful job traveling the state, uh, helping out as many uh, candidates as he possibly can in this election, our good friend uh, from Grafton, George Peterson, who's like oh, yeah. And Les, thank you for all that you've done uh, for the Commonwealth. Uh, I know it's been a very long and sad but and you're exactly right. We need people like Susanna up on Deacon Hill that understand common sense issues, that understand public safety is a critical issue for all of us. And that if you have a violent